you know, this is more proof that the wealth and the resource gap between black families and white families is astronomical. The wealth and the resource gap between black and white families is astronomical. Huge, mega huge, disproportionate amount of wealth and resources that white families have versus black families. Matter of fact, black families, of course, are fragments. <laughs> the black, like I keep saying in my videos, and, and ever since I've launched my YouTube channel, the black family structure has been on life support since the 1960s. Um, but it says here in this recent article, it says uh, black families in Chicago lost between three billion and four billion in wealth because of predatory housing contracts during the 1950s and the 60s, according to a new report released Thursday. If they say more proof that ADOS is needed, reparations, Americans, the descendants of slavery, reparations because of the wealth and resource gap, among other things, epigenetics that affect our way of living. Slavery affects our DNA. The effects of slavery, post-traumatic slavery disorder affects our DNA. That's epigenetics. If this is not more proof than what we need, why we need reparations, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. You know, this article indicates that the same exact conventional mortgages that were denied to black families were allowed in white households, in the dominant white society or the dominant culture. They were given those contracts, they were given those mortgages and black families were not. Nothing has changed since the 1960s. You look at, you look at the uh, reports from the 1960s, like I keep mentioning, uh, the National Advisory Commission on Civil Disorders, right? Where they say, um, you know, the main, the main objective about that report was we live in two societies, one black, one white, separate and unequal. It's not changed since the 1960s. Margaret Sanger was the one that incorporated um, eugenics and making sure that black families were not sustained. Wanted to populate, wanted to control the population of black families and basically fragment them with those black families and make sure that children are raised in single parent households, mainly single mothers. And so, and that's an effect of, uh, again, that's an effect of uh, slavery, an effect of racism, white supremacy, effect of, that's an effect of uh, systemic oppression, Jim Crow, subjugation, marginalization, everything, man. You know, redlining, <laughs> gentrification, all of the systems uh, that are put in place to subjugate black families. And of course, with this article, it will take an average black family of 228 years to build the wealth of a white family today. Nothing has changed. So this is, again, this is more proof that the wealth and the resource gap between black and white families is at an astronomical rate. And this is just in Chicago. Chicago Black families lost between three and four billion dollars in wealth due to housing contracts. It's more proof, man. I mean, I mean what, 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 what more can you say about why we need reparations? Why we need the ADOS movement to um, secure and to make sure that we have these reparations because of things like this? You know, this is more tangible evidence that we need more proof you know what I'm saying so again this is just more proof more tangible evidence that we need reparations and um, I mean again other groups have that other groups who suffered atrocities right due to systemic issues due to um, you know mistreatment etc they have their reparations. The Native American community got theirs. The Jewish American, the Jewish community got theirs. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, the Japanese community got theirs. They got theirs due to their atrocities for their ancestors. We need ours. American descendants of slavery. That's what we need. And this is more proof that we need it. So just wanted to make a quick video about this family. I'll have the link to this uh, article in the description that talks about in detail the, um, the contracts um, in Chicago neighborhoods that now are worth billions of dollars to white families that black families could not have. All right, so those are my quick thoughts on that family. Leave your comments down below. Until next time, Chauncey signing out. Peace.